Hello, today I would like to present you this Nightcore Tip 2 keychain flashlight that I purchased as part of my everyday carry over a year ago. And it was the best purchase I ever made and I would like to share with you how great that tiny flashlight is and what I love about it. As you can clearly see it is a pocket size, it is a keychain flashlight, I can hold it in my palm and most likely you are going to assume that it's going to be extremely low power. Here is my military duty flashlight and this is the light output from it. As you can see we've got a two 3.6 volt batteries inside and let me compare it to that one on the full power and as you can see it 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 completely away and i remind you that i've got all my studio light being turned on so here you've got the military one and here you've got that extremely tiny keychain and it provides much more power than this one so it is quite amazing. I have to tell you right away that the turbo mode requires you to press and hold that button and the flashlight is getting pretty quickly very hot. So it's not something that you are going to be using constantly, but if you would like to use it in self-defense situation, then you've got absolutely no problem in blinding someone or if you are hiking and walking you can enable the normal light as you can see and now you are walking and looking under your feet then you can quickly jump into turbo and you can check your trail you can check the markings and you can leave it like that and you go back to your regular you need to check something that is far away you go like this and you go back so the usability is absolutely beautiful and as i told you access to the turbo mode is straight from that button just a one press and hold it's designed to be attached to your keys as a keyring but i'm carrying it on my pants where i've got a d-ring that is used for attaching keys i just thread it like this and lock in place and then you can go from that position and just use it like that but if you need to take it out and do something else then you just pull it like this and you disconnect those parts together and they are being held by two extremely strong magnets if you ever try to separate two magnets that you know for a fact that if you touch them together then it's extremely hard to pull them apart like that but it's quite easy to slide them apart because the force is much weaker and here they know that for a fact and as you can see here we've got a groove like a cut up lip and it go into that just take a look it lock in place and now it's absolutely no way to slide it apart the only force that you can use is directly pulling and trust me it is extremely powerful magnet but the use case for the magnet is not only quickly detaching it you can grab something made out of metal and you can stick it and trust me it's not going to go anywhere it is holding pretty strong now you can see your charging option because we've got a micro usb port so you just need a cable like this the micro usb you connect it like that and this and go into your computer or power bank for recharging and here you've got the indicator that is going to tell you when it's fully charge so it is absolutely beautiful and after you are done you just go like this 
and you've got a great connection. Second thing that is totally optional and I was 100% sure that I will throw it away is this clip that you can slide and remove or you can keep it attached. It's made out of plastic. I was pretty sure that it's going to either break or I will just throw it away. But the first thing, it's nicely go around your buttons and it's create additional protection against accidental turning on. And as you can see, nothing sticks out and I never got that happened. But the absolutely beautiful use case for that, that I'm using constantly, is that you just grab your hat, your baseball cap, you turn your light on, just like that, you, without any problems, attach it like that, and you've got a headlamp. And I was doing a lot of repair, lot of work and it's just working absolutely beautiful i was afraid that it's going to break but it didn't break it was over year of everyday use and yeah i never grab a, any other headlamp i just constantly got it in my pocket i just attach it to my hat and it's working absolutely amazing if your pocket got a special groove that is designated for carrying knife then you've got absolutely no problem in clipping it like that absolutely beautiful no problem at all we are now going to take a look so we've got a two led light source and they are always working together here is our control if we press it shortly we are going to see the power indicator if we are going to press and hold the first one we go into the turbo mode if we would like to turn it on normally then we just press and hold the bottom one and it will go to the i believe last use mode and as you can see we've got extremely faint light this is something that is going to be working over a day so if you are in any sort of emergency where you need to conserve your power then this is mode for you and also when the battery is going to be dangerously discharged it will go from high power or medium power into that emergency low power mode so the flashlight is absolutely beautiful because it will not go totally dark, like from 100% to zero. It will fall from your regular mode into that emergency and most likely give you like a one day of light. As you can see, it is extremely faint, maybe a one lumen or something like that. From that mode, we can use the top button to cycle through different amount of light this is a medium and this is our high and we go back to the low power so let me compare the medium power to the military light and as you can see now it's being pretty close i would say the military one is more focused we go into the high power and you can see that the military one is outperform and we can go into turbo and this is the turbo mode i believe in user manual i also seen ability to lock it out so it's not going to turn on accidentally but as i'm telling you i never got that happen over one year so i'm using it like this attached to keychain and mostly using just like that and if i need it i just pull it like this and we've got my light so in my personal opinion that was absolutely the best pocket everyday carry flashlight that i ever purchased absolutely 
beautiful and I just love it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.